What up, what up, what up, Madelbees? This year vlog just feels like a lot of shopping, but I feel like I haven't really bought anything for myself, which is, is interesting. There's a really, really cute market going on today, and not that we need anything. I don't need anything. We don't need to really buy anything else for anybody, like our Christmas presents are done, but the market looks so cute, so we're gonna go. It's also, it's called Armadillo Market. Hello, it's so cute. Okay, so we're about to head out right now. It's a little bit later in the day than we normally would get started on the weekend, but we had a very slow morning. I got fully ready because it's actually probably like in the 50s outside, which is not very common, so I took advantage and put on a cute little outfit. So Madison just went upstairs, I think, to put shoes on and then we'll be heading out. Also, this is still my favorite thing. That, <laughs> one of my other snowflakes that I had up in that corner fell and then I tried to put that one up but I put the string in the wrong place so it kind of, it kind of falls over. Like, can you see? I should have put that string inside like those openings but I put it on the back. <laughs> So it's kind of like that instead of like upright like this one, but I guess it's fine. This one's cute. Can you see? I love them, I love them. What's up folks, I am here. I had to run upstairs to change my shoes. I was trying to wear some of my like beat up shoes that I have down here, but Shelby said I look like a carpenter getting ready to go to work. So I had to make some adjustments. This is what I ended up going with here. This is my fit of the day and I'm ready to go see the Armadillos Festival house market thing. Never been before. Here we are sitting in traffic to go downtown. Cracking the windows to look around. <laughs> traffic. Pizza, a town down. We could go get some fucking ginger beer. Cause they, I can't find it anywhere else. Should we go? Should we use my government ID to get into that garage again? Do it. Okay, we'll go. To the well, farmer's market. After Greg was talking about how good ginger beer is, I decided to pick some up when we were at, I think Central Market the other day. And oh my God, this, this local brand has a blackberry flavor of ginger beer and it's so good. It's also like a gorgeous purple color. And I know I saw them at the farmer's market last time we were here. I don't know that they had this flavor last time, but as we were driving by it anyway, might as well pop into the farmer's market. And I get free parking here as a uh, former state employee. <laughs> the ice on that is the best perk of working for the state I ever had was always having free access to this parking garage <laughs> oh there it is they're, they're kind of closing down y'all like it's only 11 30 and they're shutting it down it's one i just told you that oh is it really yeah. oh okay i guess it's one. still early I, feel like. I mean if it starts at nine that's not that early and we love a good bottle return Hello. Get it on the vlog so you remember it. It's so cute. Oh my god, I don't need another wreath. I don't need another wreath. Walk away, shall we? Walk away, shall we? <laughs> Stay strong. Good news, we made it just in time because the farmer's market was closing as we were arriving, but SoCo was still there. And they didn't have the blackberry flavor, but they had a pomegranate flavor, which honestly is even better and it's so good. Madison didn't want to try them. I don't know why. I ended up trying the apple one though. We got the pomegranate one. It was really, really good. Now we get to take it home. Now we will make it over to the Christmas Bazaar. That's what it's called, apparently. Christmas Bazaar. <laughs> oh, well, they got candy canes. Festive. Festive. We're at the Armadillo Christmas Bazaar. And now there's a tree in the way. So we went into the bazaar at like 1.30 mm -hmm. and it's 2.30 and we're already back in the car. And that is because it was not what we were expecting at all. Yeah, like honestly, I was expecting to see a lot more Austin Art. Like there were obviously artists from Austin there like presenting their different work that they had But I was looking for like local like true to the city like 
photographs and prints and canvases of like the city Austin, which weren't really there at all. There were a lot of unique pieces, but I don't know. It, it was really like just lacking that for me. It's called a Christmas Bazaar and it really wasn't even Christmassy. It just felt like an art pop-up where everybody brought their like creative pieces that they like worked on and wanted to sell and like all came together in the same space. I think calling the event Armadillo's Christmas Bazaar is really misleading because art pop-ups are great and important and valid, but it's not what we we thought it was going to be about. Maybe that's our own fault. Like we didn't super look into it. It's just mm -hmm. on like when you look up Christmas things to do in Austin, it's on every single list. So I thought it would be geared towards Christmassy stuff, but it wasn't at all. Let me tell you, take you guys really quickly on our recent journey to figuring out we cannot afford art. <laughs> you can tell them. What were you looking for? Like we've been looking for this like a couple months. I'm looking for a piece of Austin art. I mean, I don't know exactly what part of the city I want it to encapsulate, but if it catches my eye, then I, that's just what I'm looking for. Like she wants it to look like Austin. So mm -hmm. that started our quest for art in general. Yes. And then there's also a big blank wall uh, in our entryway. It's like the half flight of stairs and there's just a giant blank space up there. And when I say I want art, I don't mean like a painting. Like Madison's looking for a painting. Mm -hmm. I or like a canvas type of art. I'm not a big canvasy art person, so I'm looking for something for that space that is, I want to say textured, but I just mean art that's not a canvas, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. When we went to like a pop art pop-up the other day, Madison was looking for Austin art, and she found like the perfect piece. Because if you're not familiar with Austin, we have a swim hole that's really close to downtown. It's called Barton Springs. And if you take a drone shot of it, you can see the pool and the city in the background. It's a really cool shot. And that's what we saw at this art pop-up we we're like oh my god that is perfect for what she's been looking for yeah. and it was on a how big was that canvas like as wide as this car almost it was a pretty good size I think I'd say yeah about as wide as a car five thousand mm -hmm. dollars and I was like I knew art was expensive and like I under I fully understand why art is expensive okay but this was my first realization that we cannot afford art <laughs> we just we just simply cannot. But then it got worse because the other day on my For You page, I found this artist. She is incredible. She mm -hmm. makes these huge, well, I guess she does custom work, so it can be as big or small as you want. But she can make these pieces that are, they're called hand tufted. And it's kind of like carpet work, but a lot more intricate and detailed. Mm -hmm. And all the materials she uses are upcycled. And so I was like having this entry of the Austin piece that was five grand. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this is definitely going to be out of my budget. But low key, like maybe I can save up. None of her pieces on her website or her page had prices on them, but I found one on this website called First Dibs, which is like a secondhand site for vintage pieces or I guess like higher end things. Mm -hmm. $38,000. Yeah. And so back to, we just can't afford art. So the one piece we saw at this place, which was really cool. Do you want to tell them, tell them what it was? The piece of art that we saw actually used like pieces of like a broken down computer, it looked like. They're like chip boards just looked like and tech like waste. screens from like the fans that you'd see on like a computer and stuff like that. Yeah, it looked like a bunch of different tech waste pieces. Yeah. And it was like of, if you, if you know Austin again, there's a street called Congress and it looks right towards our capital. And it was basically that perspective, but use tech waste to make the, the art. How much was that one? 2600 20, it was 22 yeah better than 5,000 but I still I mean like you know that's something we would have to save up for but still like just to think I think art is pretty cool and I didn't realize it was such a like just a space that like you really can't be in as an average human you really have to be quite wealthy yeah I so. I didn't know that at all like I don't know exactly what I'm trying to pay but when I set out on this journey I didn't envision like oh that that piece I really love is five thousand dollars this piece that I'm like also considering is like 2200 like I don't know I don't know. Maybe I just need to save up. That's what it sounds like, is I had some unrealistic expectations. If you think about it, how often do artists sell their work? Because they put hours and hours and hours into it, right? Mm -hmm. But $5,000 worth of work is, even if you're saying they make a generous, like, per hour pay, like $100, that's like 50 hours of work. Mm -hmm. And maybe it did take them that long to make that piece, but I just feel like they probably don't sell that many, so like, when they do sell something, it's gotta, like, make them a living. So, I 
I just, I don't know. I'm so sad, but it, as someone in me who like, isn't just like, that's ridiculous. Who would pay that? That's absurd. Like I understand where those prices come from. Mm -hmm. So that's not my reaction. My reaction is just like, okay, art's for the elite and that's not me. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to head to Whole Foods because like I said, I've been on the mission for soy rizo so that I can make chili and um, they didn't have it at Central Market when I checked. So we're going to try Whole Foods and hope that they have it. Yep. Off to Whole Foods. We secured the soy rizo and I guess we'll make chili later tonight, you think? Look how much taller I am with all of these shoes on the bed. <laughs> Oh no. So we can take it home and make chili later tonight, but for now we're just gonna go for a walk around the lake. Chili sounds great for later. I'm pumped for a walk as well. Wait, where does this go? Because this is the lake path. Why not? I think this is just out to the point. You wanna go? Yep. It looks kinda cool. Not bad. Mm. Not the trees have all dropped their leaves. Sorry for the abrupt outro. We made it back from our walk and we're actually gonna make chili with you all tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And until tomorrow, catch you later, Maddlebees.